Listen, I'm not a big supplement guy. Open my cabinet and you'll find a high potency omega-3, vitamin D3 with K2, an occasional probiotic, and electrolytes that show up when my calves start whispering threats at 2 a.m. That's it. I'm a food as medicine doctor, not a big bag of pills guy. But there's one supplement that keeps crashing my clinic conversations, my DMs, and even family dinner, creatine. So I'm doing something different. I'm running an experiment. I'm 57. I lift two to three times a week. And like many of you, I want to protect muscle, strength, and the brain power as the birthdays stack up. Today I'll tell you why creatine might help, how I'll use it, what you should watch if you try it, and at the end I'll flash a quick slide with trusted brands so you're not lost in supplement aisle purgatory. This is awareness, not a prescription. You decide what fits your goals. First, a reality check from my earlier video on creatine rich foods. I love getting nutrients from steak, eggs, and fish, but even a large steak only delivers roughly a gram of creatine. Most research uses about three to five grams daily. You could try to meet your way there, but it's tough without a supplement. That gap is why athletes, and increasingly everyday folks who just want to keep their muscle and move well, use creatine monohydrate. My plan is to add it on top of a nutrient-dense carnivore leaning way of eating and see if training results actually improve. So what does creatine do in plain English? Picture yourselves like hybrid cars. Most of the day you cruise on efficient fuels, but when you need a burst, sprinting, heavy sets, fast decision making, ATP is your instant battery. Creatine is the portable charger that keeps that battery topped off for those first seconds of intense effort. In muscle, that often means one more clean rep or holding form a little longer before fatigue mangles your groove. In the brain, it can mean clear thinking under pressure, especially when you're short on sleep. And here's the key, that single extra rep stacked across weeks becomes measurable strength and muscle. The little things aren't little when you do them consistently. So how might this help someone in their 50s who lifts? Training is non-negotiable. Protein is critical. Creatine adds a small but real edge by improving high intensity performance and total training volume. Translation, the program you're already doing works a little better. There's also emerging evidence for cognitive support, mood benefits as an adjunct in some patients, and possibly bone health when combined with resistance training. Vegetarians and people who eat less red meat often respond more strongly because their baseline muscle creatine stores start lower. Women and older adults can benefit just as much. Response isn't gated by age. It's gated by rather you train and fuel. So plan to exercise if you plan to supplement. Let's hit a few lesser known facts. Making creatine inside your body consumes methyl groups in your one carbon metabolism. Supplementing can lower that internal demand and in some people nudges homocysteine downward. A quiet win I'll actually track on my labs. Another nugget. Small studies suggest creatine can blunt the cognitive drag of sleep loss and improve reaction time. Beneficiaries, shift workers, new parents, residents on call, and why I'm curious about its brain benefits on long clinic days. And that water weight people complain about is mostly inside the muscle cell where water actually supports performance and better leverages the contractile machinery. It's not puffy under the skin bloat. It's more like adding coolant to a high performance engine. One more, if your fasting glucose runs a little high, there's research hinting creatine plus exercise can help muscles handle glucose better. It's not a diabetes therapy, but it's a lever that cooperates with training. Now safety. The big fear is kidneys. In healthy people using standard dosages, creatine monophosphate has looked safe across many studies. It can nudge your serum creatinine because creatinine is a breakdown product of creatine. That lab bump doesn't automatically mean kidney damage. It means your clinician should interpret labs in context. Tests like cystatin C and GFR tend to help give the real picture. Hair loss is the other headline. Not a big problem with me. A small athlete study found an increase in DHT during a loading phase. And the internet turned that into creatine makes you bald. 
the total evidence does not confirm that claim. My advice, if hair risk worries you, skip loading, use a steady daily dose, and pay attention to your own response. Stomach upset, that's usually from big boluses or hot acidic drinks. Solution, micronized powder, cool liquid or split the dose with meals. So here's some dosing made simple tips. You do not need to load. Three to five grams of creatine monohydrate daily is the research standard. Timing is flexible. Take it when you remember. Consistency beats perfection. If you love routine, pair it with your main protein meal. Micronized creatine mixes easier. You do not need buffered forms or exotic blends. Monohydrate is the most studied, most cost effective and the form I'm using for this experiment. If coffee gives you heartburn, separate your caffeine and creatine by a couple of hours and keep your usual basics, protein targets, electrolytes, on point. Creatine is a nudge, not a rescue mission. So what should you expect? Subtle changes in the short term, meaningful over time. In the first weeks, you may notice a small uptick in reps, a steadier last set, a less drop off late in workouts, over eight to 12 weeks, those tiny wins compound into measurable strength. If you're deconditioned, the curve can be steeper. If you're experienced, the gains look like one more brick each week. Cognitively, some people feel a little more snap on long days or after a rough night of sleep. And because creatine draws water into muscle, your scale might tick up early as your training gets better. That's performance water, not fat. Common mistakes I see in clinic. Taking creatine while under eating protein. Hit protein first roughly 0.7 to 1.0 grams per pound of gold body weight. Then add creatine. If you're expecting fat loss from creatine, it isn't a fat burner. It helps you train harder. Don't ditch electrolytes on low carb and blame creatine for cramps. Salt, potassium, and magnesium still matter for performance and pumps. Mixing creatine with scalding coffee and wondering why your stomach revolts Instead, use cool water or stir it into yogurt or eggs. Being inconsistent, creatine works by saturating muscles. Daily uses wins over heroic weekends. Who should not experiment without guidance? If you have known kidney disease, are pregnant or nursing, have a major mood disorder that's currently unstable, or manage complex medications, talk to your clinician first. If you're tracking labs, Remember, a small bump in creatinine can reflect the supplement, not injury. Contacts and cystatin C help. Also, if you're a hard gainer with a tiny appetite, note that creatine can slightly blunt appetite in a few people. Plan your protein so you don't accidentally undereat. Here is my plan. For the next 12 weeks, I'll take 3 to 5 grams daily, no loading. I'll track strength on my main lifts, step count, sleep, and mental stamina on clinic days. I'll prioritize hydration, and I'll run baseline and follow-up labs, including homocysteine. And I'll keep my nutrition rooted in ruminant meats, eggs, and seafood. If I feel worse or labs go sideways, I'm out. The goal is better function, not better numbers. Let me save you time with a quick buyer's guide so you're not stuck in the aisles Googling under fluorescent lights. Look for creatine monohydrate, ideally micronized, from a brand that is third-party tested, NSF certified for sport or informed sport choice. Crea Pure on the label means German-made creatine with rigorous purity standards. Examples that meet strong quality criteria include Thorn Creatine, Clean Athlete Creatine, Optimum Nutrition Micronized Creatine Monohydrate, Nutribio Creatine Monohydrate, and bulk supplements creatine monohydrate. Powder beats capsules for cost and convenience. Skip proprietary blends that hide the dose. Less land is plain. I'm not here to hype a trend. I'm here to keep you strong enough to carry your life, your grandkids, your groceries, your mission, with less pain and more power. Creatine won't fix a junk diet, poor sleep, or a missing workout log. But if you're doubt in, over 40 and want a legal, inexpensive nudge that makes your training work better, it's a reasonable experiment. I'm starting mine now. In a few months, I'll know if it's earned a permanent spot in my tiny, picky supplement drawer. You'll hear my results when I have them. If this helped, like the video so more people can find it. And subscribe if you want honest root cause breakdowns without the hype. Drop a comment with your age, your training schedule, 
and one goal you care about. First pull up, faster sprints, stronger legs for the stairs. And as promised, here comes the on-screen slide with suggested brands and a quick start checklist so you can begin today. Three to five grams daily, consistent training, real sleep, and enough protein and electrolytes to let your biology show off. Thank you for coming to this video and I'll see you in the next one.